Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. Merry Vlogmas. As you can see, I'm in the car, I'm traveling. I'm actually going to the links. Well, I don't think I'm gonna film very much of it because I've done that before and that was a boring ass video. I just wanted a little vlogmas greeting. It's December something at this point. We all know what month it is. But yeah, about to go play some golf with Cody and dad. Peter, my uncle Peter was supposed to be involved, but someone he was around got tested positive with COVID. Still here, still mean, still all uh, terrible. Out of safety, he just didn't come this weekend. I'm not a golf golfer. Like I'm not very good. I was in the high school golf team, I was captain of B team, which wasn't an official title. I was just, the way they did the A team in golf was the best dude went last and I went last on B team. So if they play by the A team rules, I was the best on B team. If they play by no rules at all, there's a potential I could have been the worst on B team. But if you know the logic of high school golf and it turns out I might've been the worst on B team, don't tell me or say, hey man, Regardless, you would have been captain of C team. I'm on my way to LBJ. Ooh, ooh. That was a rhyme and a half. But yeah, I'm on my way. I just wanted to say Merry Vlogmas. This will be in some random video, most likely. I've been enjoying the month so far. Lots of good family time. Got my O'Brien thing on. Brett says this is ugly. No, she just didn't like it with the fit I was wearing it with. It is a very intense green, I'll give you that much. Boston Celtics, go Celtics, go Celtics. Merry Vlogmas, have a great day. Enjoy the video you're maybe about to watch. Merry Vlogmas, <laughs> it's time for a mook bang. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, so today's the big one. The big one that could be a risk factor for me. And it is the one everyone knows. And I haven't had their lunch in a long time, so we'll see. The Golden Arches, which you know what? I actually wish their bag looked a little cooler, but I just wanted kind of like a big M. Hey, that in, big. Iconic brown bag though, always brown. All right, so for the McDonald's mukbang, it's pretty simple. I got the chicken nuggets, fries, cause their fries are either the best fries of all time or the worst. A Sprite, just for my stomach. And then the Oreo Flurry, which is what's gonna hurt my stomach because I haven't had one of those in a bit. Oreo Flurry. Very nice, very nice. Love me an Oreo Flurry, just don't know if I'm strong enough. Here's a fry. Not great, but not not bad. For first, first bite. Also, just an iconic thing. Oh, dang, they gave me a big one. That's gonna be rough for my stomach. I said I didn't want large, I said I wanted medium. The Chicken McNuggets. I am in Marble Falls at the moment. Just finished playing golf with Dad and Cody. Didn't see the score, but I'm almost positive I lost. Just didn't clutch up when I needed to. Daddy and Cody. Daddy and Cody. <laughs> no! No! Daddy is what Cody is where that came from. I combined their names and sadly turned it into Daddy. Dad and Cody both played pretty well overall. Dad's putting was... Cody's kind of approach game, chip game was very... And he had some great putts as well. I had a couple good putts, a couple good approaches, but I never was able to put it all together for a hole, except for one. I think I got a six on a par five, which is pretty good for me. Bogey, bogey, fool! All right, let's take a first bite out of one of these nuggets. Cowabunga. Guilty pleasure as a kid, always. I mean, I guess technically it still kind of is a guilty pleasure. The breakfast is a guilty pleasure for sure. Brett and I love McDonald's breakfast. Love it. I just love it so much. It's so tasty. But the lunch, I mean, as a kid, if we went traveling, since I'm a really, really, really picky eater, it's called, I can't remember the name it is. I'll put it on the screen of what I have. It's super annoying. I hope you don't have it. I hope no one you know has it because it's just unfortunate. But it means I'm just really picky with eating with like sensory stuff. It doesn't matter how good it may taste or how good, whatever. If it smells a little weird, looks a little weird, feels a little weird, it's not going in my mouth. Uh, but McDonald's, whenever we went traveling as a family, my dad would do all this research for these like nice restaurants to take our family and have like dinners and all that good jazz. And it would be a blast. I'd love those places. But then after or before, dad would always research the closest McDonald's to the hotel, to where we were, so that I wouldn't starve to death. For that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you, Father. Merry Vlogmas, Dad. Thanks for always having my back. One of my favorite fun facts, which doesn't apply anymore, was on that trip where we went to London, Berlin, Prague, Czech Republic, all during the World Cup, just to, you know, do a little family trip. It had nothing to do with the World Cup, but that made it fun. We were doing so much walking, and all I was eating was, like, bread and McDonald's, and I lost weight. <laughs> 
I lost weight. But I was a kid, so that kind of explains it a little bit. McDonald's is like almost full blast nostalgia for me. Fries are pretty good. Fries are pretty good. Oh, that's too much. That's why I want a medium. I like to put them in the basket of the uh, chicken nuggets, but with a large, it spills over, which is annoying. McDonald's, if nostalgia is heavy enough and I'm craving it enough, like if Brett and I are on a road trip and we're like, oh shit, there's a McDonald's, like we're hungry. It doesn't even matter if it's bad. I'm like, ah, it's McDonald's. Because that's the thing with McDonald's. As I'm eating this, I'm like, oh, this isn't good. You know, like, mm. Like, I've had better. But the nostalgia, the memories, the memories, kind of take over. So I'm pretty biased. I understand that it's, there's a reason I don't eat lunch anymore for McDonald's because it usually upsets my stomach. It usually makes me feel pretty gross, which I don't want to feel gross. One thing I really haven't got in a while because it's too much. But for the book bang, I needed another item. So I had to get it. I loved the Oreo Flurry as a kid. I'm always a critique of whether they stirred or not. This one, I don't think they did a very good job. Three, two, one. Mm. Ooh, I don't usually get brain freeze, but more like teeth freeze. That hurt my teeth so bad. Pretty good stuff. I could eat just buckets. That Flurry ice cream. I could just eat that stuff out the wazoo. That's how good it is. Mm. Michigan, we go to a place called Terry Tree. They got the best Oreo flurries this side of the Pacific. But we will see how bad my stomach reacts. Because of the early tea time, I wasn't initially going to film a mukbang today. Because before we started, I was going to go to this McDonald's to get breakfast. Because I bought the breakfast and I said, oh, I'm about to play golf. I probably should get something in my stomach. I rolled up to it and they talked to me in the microphone. I went, hey. They went, welcome McDonald's. And I said, yo, what's up? And they said, we can't serve anything. Bye. And I said, oh, damn. Okay. So I went and left because I needed to get to the tea time. Played golf with Dad and Cody. Or I call them. Daddy. And I was so hungry when I got off. I was like, okay, I guess I'll go to McDonald's again because I can do a mukbang. I wasn't really mentally prepared for eating McDonald's lunch, so I'm not sure my stomach is going to be ready for it. But we'll, we'll find out. I just watched a couple days ago at Marble Falls, so it's appropriate with uh, my family. Mine is Brett because she went home early. The Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. My sister and Cody really like the Guardians franchise, which Brett doesn't. So I thought they might be a good crowd to watch it with. I'm sort of up and down with the Guardians. I think they got some really cool storylines and can surprisingly be super, super deep. But every once in a while, James Gunn style, I'll kind of hit you over the head with like the equivalent of like fart and pee jokes. It's a little much. And I won't go into a rant because it would be a rant that I think they kind of damned. They'll see if they redeem it and Guardians 3. Damn Drax, who, in my opinion, had the like the one of the roughest backgrounds. Thanos killing his family. When you meet him, all he wants to do is just kill Thanos. So that's like what he wants to do. I get there's more important heroes than Drax. You could have a whole storyline about him wanting to kill Thanos. And even in Thin Infinity War, that causes him to kind of like pop off and almost get their whole crew killed. And gets Gamora taken, which gets her killed. So, but like an end game, not to even give him a moment. You know, they didn't need to give Wanda a moment or the women the moment. I like the women moment. I'm not a hater on women. They gave the women a moment to have their big scene. They had like T'Challa, Spider-Man, everyone like running with the gauntlet, which led to that women's scene. Super badass. And gave Captain Marvel a moment against Thanos, gave Wanda a moment against Thanos. Both moments are so badass. Cause you're just like, oh, like he's not as like strong as they are. Wanda was about to kill him. He ran Telfire. Captain Marvel was pushing him back. So then he pulls the stone out just to make a second punch stronger. But you literally have a character. The only other guy to me is Tony, who has this weird tie to Thanos. Cause you know, he saw the vision, he saw this, you know, Thanos has been in his head, all that kind of stuff. And Drax, and sorry, I forgot one. Nebula and Gamora. Nebula and Gamora should have played a role in their father's demise because they hate him. He tortured them. But Drac went from being this kind of like, kind of oblivious blunt guy humor in the first Guardians to I'm making like baby jokes kind of humor. Which sometimes are very funny. Like his delivery is hilarious. But I don't know. I feel like they sacrificed a bit of his like character just to make him the funny guy. To make him like the funny character on the thing. I can be a little hit or miss with the Guardians. Depending on my mood. But the holiday special I thought was good. You know, gives you a reveal. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Mantis and Peter are brother and sister. Because they both have the same dad. Who is Ego. Right, terrible, terrible person. From the second movie. 
<coughs> so I thought that was kind of cool. It was honestly something Peter really needed. He lost his mom. I feel his dad. He lost Gamora. I know Gamora's alive. You know, I get that a version of her's alive, but not not Peter's version. He lost her for good. I loved that. I was like, oh shit, like that's really cool. Like that makes sense. Ego would impregnate all different types of species, trying to create these, you know, demigods, half god thingies. So it makes sense that she somehow lived. It was one of those things. And I like that they bought nowhere, like give them kind of home base for the guardians. Even though I think a lot of bad things are gonna happen to them in the next movie. I think there's gonna be a lot of death in that next Guardian movie. And I think we'll be leaving it with only a few survivors. Maybe new Guardians, but like new characters to fit that void. But like, I don't think the franchise is dead. I think some of the characters are gonna be gone. Like I would think Groot was safe. He's a money maker. I think Drax is in danger. I think Nebula might be in danger. I think Rocket's in danger. Oh, we'll see. I thought the special did what it was supposed to be. I, you know, initially it starts like animated. And I remember my hand, my sister made me laugh. She was like, I hate everything so far. I hate everything about this so far or something. <laughs> made me laugh because I was like, I get it. It is kind of like, it was really slow and dry. Not very fun. But to me, it was like, oh, but it's a Christmas special. That's like what those things are. It got its feet underneath it a little bit when it goes into the actual story of Mantis and Drax trying to get Kevin Bacon. I thought it all worked out. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought that Kevin Bacon was having a blast. I think it was a little bit of a miss out. Maybe Kevin didn't want to do it. The whole thing they talk about, even in this thing, is that he loves Kevin Bacon. He loves Footloose. Can't believe that a guy was able to save a town through dance. So much so that Peter, in later in life, saves the universe with a dance off. That Kevin Bacon doesn't dance. <laughs> Like, I can't believe he sings, which I guess he's kind of like, he's kind of like vibing with it, but he doesn't just have like a dance. I wanted a kind of recreation of the Footloose, like warehouse thing where he's like going crazy. Not the whole thing, because Kevin's old, but he's still fit. Maybe Kevin didn't want to do that. Overall, I thought it was a very good holiday special. Like I liked Werewolf by Night a lot, but that didn't necessarily feel like a Halloween special. It just felt like a, a special. Like, I don't think I'd be like, oh, it's Halloween, I gotta watch Werewolf by Night. But Guardians of the Galaxy, the Christmas special, holiday special, whatever they call it, to me is very much like, oh yeah, I, I could see people watching that on Christmas and around the holidays, because it leans into it really hard. They got a really funny song at the beginning, as like the credits go. The lights and the set is really cool. So overall, I'd give the Guardians of the Galaxy special probably like six or seven groups out of 10. That's my notes about the holiday special. I think my family enjoyed it. They were laughing by the end. This is my my last bite. My last bite of the McDonald's mukbang. Stomach's feeling okay, but you know, it's only been like 15 minutes. But here we go. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Hope Vlogmas is going well for you. As of right now, it's going fine for me. I'm cool now. Enjoy it. I'm leaving Marble Falls. I'm gonna leave Marble Falls happy. Hopefully my stomach will be fine. Can make it home. See Brett, because I love her. <laughs> I might love her so much. Be wet. Yeah, but thank you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. I haven't been asking for that as much verbally. <clears throat> hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you think you sicko, you went to McDonald's, or if you're like, yeah, no, the golden arches do hit a bit different. McDonald's food gets a high rating for me just because I'm nostalgia a lot, but I don't actually think it's that good. The chicken nuggets are delicious though. They're always good. But like the flurry, it was what it was. The fries, they were what they were. Appreciate the Sprite though. Merry Vlogmas. That's my cue to me to start fading out and in the video. Merry Christmas. Uh, this is Jake from the studio. And the McDonald's indeed um, rocked me like a hurricane right when I got home. I felt it like a rock. So I guess I learned my lesson. <laughs> Merry Vlogmas.